breaking news, catastrophic flooding in Puerto Rico. Take a look here. This after Hurricane Fiona made landfall this afternoon. And while the storm only clocked in as a Category 1, it is still bringing all kinds of devastating effects to the island. Take a look. So here is what we know right now. The entire island does not have any power. Up to 30 inches of rain has fallen in some of the smaller parts of the island, but the majority of the people are seeing at least a foot of rain. Most rivers on the east side now have either been in moderate or major flood stage, and the storm is now impacting parts of the Dominican Republic. Tonight, Hurricane Fiona pounding Puerto Rico with powerful winds and flooding rain, knocking out the fragile power grid, now an island-wide blackout. One and a half million customers without electricity. Nearly five years to the day, the island was slammed by Hurricane Maria. Thank God we're all safe overall. Steve Giacello operates short-term rentals in the American territory, and his mother and sister live in Chicago. In the capital of San Juan, he's rationing what little gasoline he has. I'm trying to use as limited as possible uh, any kind of power supplies. You know, we're trying to use the, you know, the, the air conditioner mostly in, uh, in some basic lights. The Category 1 hurricane made landfall with sustained winds of 85 miles per hour, knocking down trees and power lines, expected to dump some two feet of rain. High winds ripping the roof off this structure, tearing it to shreds. The storm dumping torrential rain across much of the island, angry waters sweeping away this bridge built after Hurricane Maria. President Biden has declared a state of emergency. And the governor of Puerto Rico calling the damage catastrophic, but earlier saying they were ready with enough resources to respond. I don't want any loss of life here. Um, once that's taken care of, um, then restoring the electric service. Illinois Senator Christina Pachionzeas helped coordinate relief efforts when Maria hit and says more support is needed. We still have a lot of the issues uh, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of readiness, um, in terms of a coordinated effort to save lives, but later to build a resilient Puerto Rico. The pain from the devastation wrought five years ago has not receded from people's memories. And now another punch some observers say is more evidence of the effects of climate change. In instances like this, money is what makes a difference. And local organizations are telling us that they're watching these developments in Puerto Rico very closely to coordinate relief effort if it is needed. And the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot, tonight echoing that support by tweeting, we stand ready to help and we'll work with the community to provide support just as we did in previous hurricane disasters. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.